my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Olivia and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my absolute favorite thing at Starbucks to eat, the Cranberry Bliss Bars because I have not seen them in any Starbucks um, at all this season. Um, not that I've been out much but the few times that I've been out to grab the Starbucks they have not been in there and I don't know if that's just a winter thing or what but I'm craving them so hard right now with my pumpkin spice latte. Um, I just can't find them anywhere, so I had a craving for them, um, and they are just like this kind of like white chocolate, orange zesty, um, cranberry, um, blondie almost, it's like a blondie, um, or just like a white chocolate brownie basically, um, with this amazing, um, citrusy cranberry cream cheese frosting on top or icing on top with chunks of white chocolate and cranberry inside. I just love everything about it and seriously been craving it around this time of year and I'm not, again, not been able to get my hands on one. So I thought I'd make it and I've been batch filming videos all day today because I have some time to do so and I got my hair done and my nails done um, in preparation for all this filming. And my mom actually measured everything out while I was filming, so I'm so thankful and grateful to her for doing that for me and measured everything out and weighed everything. So all I have to do is put it in a bowl, mix it, pop it in the oven, and make the frosting, and pretty much that's it. So I'll put the recipe down below and on the screen as I put everything in a bowl and show you how step-by-step -step how to make it. And um, this is not my recipe. I found this recipe as a copycat recipe for the original bars from Starbucks online from someone called Belle of the Kitchen, uh, which I thought was really cool because it's spelled like Belle like the princess, and that's my favorite princess actually. So that's funny that I happen to choose that one. It had like over a hundred odd reviews, so I thought I'd go with hers. I've never tried them before from her other than the original from Starbucks, so we shall see um, how these stand up, but I'm so excited to get started and eat them. I just want them right now, but um, let's get started on showing you guys how to make these, and we'll test them together at the end, and if they're super good, then um, I will definitely be making them over and over again, and you guys should um, take a crack at it as well, because I bet they're going to be amazing. The, the pictures of them look fantastic and I can't wait to get started so here we go. So the first thing you're going to want to do is preheat the oven to 350 degrees and line either a 15 by 20, 15 by 10 um, inch jelly roll pan or rimmed cookie sheet with a parchment paper or a 13 by 9. See so my mom has already done that like I said, she is the best ever. She did that for us already, which is incredible. See, um, this is a 13 by nine, um, so that should work. The first thing you're gonna do is beat together the melted butter and brown sugar over medium speed with an electric mixer. So I just really quickly melted this butter because that's what the recipe says to do, is to melt this butter. extract here but if you look in the recipe there's a bunch of like tips and stuff and if you look at that it says that you can uh, substitute this if you don't have orange orange extract for like orange zest and orange juice combined and that should do the trick as well for both the frosting and the bars <music> ground 
ground. Ginger, baking powder, salt, and flour. Beating until just blended, but don't over mix. Wipe down the sides, or scrape down the sides, sorry, with a spatula. making the frosting that goes on top um, and that is gonna be eight ounces of softened cream cheese I've had this out all day so it should be nice and soft it's an eight ounce bar yep so pretty easy for measuring because it's already there all right a million years later I finally have the cream cheese um, out of its packet and in the bowl. Now we're going to be adding the powdered sugar. It's going to be one and a half cups of powdered sugar. in there for um, I think 22 minutes total um, the recipe says to underbake them rather than overbake them because then they'll become really hard this is what they look like all cooled and done that's 22 minutes uh, with a 13 by 9 pan they're still slightly warm let me feel the top uh, slightly warm it says to cool them completely but I'm not gonna eat them tonight um, I'm gonna ice it now because I want to go to bed it's like seven or at least start getting ready for bed so I'm gonna put the icing on and let it cool overnight white chocolate I just did it in the microwave and the directions say to use a fork and just drizzle it all over all right we are finished so this is what it looks like here we go with everything with the white chocolate drizzled the extra craisins the frosting now um, I'm gonna let these cool overnight and cut them in the morning as it says in the instruct as it says to do it so in the instructions um, you could cut them now and eat them now you could cut them and put them in the free in the fridge and eat them whenever um, but all of that stuff will be in the recipe below but for right now I'm gonna cover it and leave them out to harden and then cut them in the morning and have them in the morning I'll take a bunch of pictures and videos and insert them at the end but this is it
I'm in my robe and I'm ready to try these copycat Starbucks Cranberry Bliss Bars. Um, as you just saw, I cut them up uh, the way the recipe says to do so. I put them away, or they're on the side actually. I put them in Tupperwares and I'm going to be putting them in the fridge soon because that's the way the recipe says to store them to keep them the most fresh. Um, I think it says they keep for about five days. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to try them right now and let you guys know what they taste like. Mm. They're so thick and so good. Definitely under baking them was the right call. I think the ginger really makes it like a lovely warm autumn winter um, breakfast treat or dessert treat. Um, it's just super cozy and warming and having the orange in every part of it really makes it like super light as well so it's not thick and dense and like chewy and claggy it's really light and flaky with a nice zest but having those warm notes of like cranberries and ginger and vanilla and all that is like a really good balance of light um but also nice and warming as well for this time of year all right that's it for me today i really hope you enjoyed this video of me baking some awesome winter treats it is absolutely pissing it down with rain outside right now so i think it's perfect weather um to be eating these so i hope that you guys make these at home um, if you make them, make sure to tag me. Also tag the original creator of this recipe. I will leave the recipe down below and her socials. Go follow her and myself um, for more pictures of these. And like I said, if you make these at home, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. Let me know that you made them. Let me know how they turned out. I will definitely let everybody know if they come back to Starbucks sometime this year but if they don't then I would highly recommend making these as an alternative because they are super super close to the real thing and you get a lot out of them actually. Anyways if you enjoyed this type of video of me baking and sharing some of my favorite recipes with you guys then please make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below with any other videos that you want to see me do or any other types of food that you want to see me bake or cook. I'm more of a baker than a chef um, so if there's anything else you want me to make, just let me know. I'd be happy to show you. But yeah, I had so much fun making these bars and sharing them with you. I will also link this, um, super cozy robe down below as well. It's from Target. It's wonderful for these cold mornings. So this was the last green one in stock at my local Target. If you happen to see them at yours, uh, definitely pick one up. They have them in red and blue as well and they're so freaking cozy so anyway um i'll let you guys go but please don't forget to subscribe turn on the bell for notifications for every time i post a new video i've been um batch filming a bunch of videos this weekend to post in the next couple weeks so look out for those if they're already out they'll be in a card or they'll be linked down below on my channel uh, if they're not then look forward to some more videos coming out soon Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.